Hello, it's Truck Dispatcher Training. I'm going to tell you what every trucker should know about DOT inspections and what usually DOT officers look for. What issues should be noted? DOT officers usually have a whole list of things that they want to check and they also stick to priorities and what they want to look for. So, for some reason your number was picked and got on a wait station. First things that they're usually going to be looking for are your logbook, hours of service, capability to fax or email that statement page of your last 7 to 14 days of e-logs. After that they're going to do a quick truck inspection, but you never know what depth of inspection they're going to do on your truck. They usually pay attention to things like glaring or that are dangerous. There can be a couple of questions, for example, who's the owner of the truck? And can you open the hood? Yes, they always want you to open the hood and then they look around all truck. All this time you have to be in the car and of course you might be wondering and would be worried what they could find. One more thing that they can check is anything from your airlines. They will make sure nothing is rattling, moving or rubbing on your airlines under the truck. DOT officers also will look for any leaks, for example oil leaks. If you have it they will not put you out of service and they will not write up on it, but anyway they will let you know. What else will they look in the truck? It is your tire, they'll want to make sure that it won't worn down. Truck tread depth where on either side groove patterns can affect your tires. Then probably they will check all of your lines for your brakes and your hydraulic lines. They will move around the truck and everything they hear can matter to them. The major thing DOT officers are going to do is make you sit behind the wheel and make you rock your steering wheel slightly and at this time they will look at the steering column or the steering pump. What will they want to check? That there's almost zero play. The steering wheel must be slightly doing shim back and forth. They will watch how much play, if there's any at either end on this road. They also will check at leaf springs because your steering components or something they can visually see can be broken. They won't look for rust or something like this. They will look for defective parts that can be a hazard. If you need to push the brake pedal and you get rubbed through the airline and you don't have full capacity of your brakes, obviously that will be a danger. Next, they will check truck mirrors. DOT officers must make sure that all of your mirrors work, that they aren't broken. And of course, let's speak about your airlines. They will check each and they will want to make to make sure that the rubbing and the vibration will run through on all airlines. There is a very small chance that they won't check this. Next, you're going to get a light test on your truck. You will turn on and turn off every light, turn your right signal on, turn your left signal on, turn your four ways on. Depending on the level of inspection, they may check a creeper board or go under and check the measured brake stroke on your truck. They also will check brake drums, thickness of the brake pads. If it is worn too thin within, there is a certain level that once it passes brake out of adjustment, that pad is not good anymore and that will put you out of service. So they will check your brakes, tires, lights, your logbook and look at you. You're really important. Maybe you can be tired, under the influence, slurring your words, or you can look sick. They always will look at you, so don't give them the reason to pull you in. DOT inspections happen, eventually there is nothing you can do about this. You can sit on DOT inspections for hours, but try to be polite and don't be rude. It is just their job and you have to do what they want. Just do it and help them to do it as fast as possible. That's all for today. I hope this video was helpful for you. Subscribe to our channel and put a like to this video. See you soon. Bye.